Good morning, guys. Got the sun like coming in like perfectly right there, but um, today's Monday. It's a fresh start to the week. I'm gonna go back to the classic trip, trip to the thrift style after last week's garage sale adventures. Where it's freezing cold, but I'm going to uh, get a bunch of stops in today. I gotta be home by noon to get stuff shipped out, but currently it's like 8.30. This stop came through with a couple items. We got two of these little essential blank vintage crew necks. And then we got a nice Missouri Tigers crew neck here, great fade to it. And then a Mackinac Island, another one that has a really nice fade. I imagine they're from the same person. California t-shirt and this Strictly For My Ninjas t-shirt. It looks really old, it had a lot of wear to it and it is single stitch, so I don't know. This stop gave us a couple pairs of these Polo Bear PJs, PJ pants, sweatpants, whatever you wanna call them with a pair of Y2K denim jorts, and then a nice thick sweater here. Two of these Choppers t-shirts, that needs to be a quick sell. Anything biker, like kind of Y2K choppery, sells really well for me. And those two had good graphics on them and good sayings. Got a vintage flannel, Indian motorcycle t-shirt. This is a Justin Bieber t-shirt, they sell, don't judge. And then a School of Hard Knocks t-shirt, front and back hit, early 2000s. Kind of a cool one, I've never seen this graphic before, so. Nice little find. Here we got a little Yachty, little boat, sailing team jersey, then a couple t-shirts, and some random crew necks. This one was cool, a Detroit Red Wings starter piece right there. I like that one, super thick. And then we got a couple hats at this place too. We got a Brickyard 400, 1996, Tampa Bay Rays hat. It's really nice, Arizona. And then we got a Yellowstone and my favorite find was this Colt Starter. Don't know what this design's called, but it's pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Little to nowhere as well. We also got a Mickey Animal Kingdom and then a Nanpa. I think that's how you say it, but it's LL Bean hat. Cool design to it. This stop started off with a couple pairs of denim. This one's our overalls, and these are some Wrangler denim. Good size. Then we got some Bugle Boy denim shorts. Two of these USA Olympics tank tops, which were only a buck ninety nine a piece. Didn't end up picking that lover shirt, but we got Indy 500T. This is a uh, the chemical name and the drug name for anesthesia, so that was kind of cool. This Nissan t-shirt, Taylor Swift, must buy it always. The Nutmeg White Sox tee, single stitch, good condition. The super cute cat t-shirt, perfect time for it, the winter snowflakes. And then we got a Mickey Pocket crew neck there, and just a couple t-shirts. This stop gave us a lot of goodies. Started off with a little IU piece, just a Y2K crew neck. More of these vintage blanks, that one had the tags on it. This Wolf, really cool 1987 crew neck. Awesome, goofy Walt Disney World, super thick. I like the quality on it, it's a quick seller. This Jeep piece, always love finding Jeep stuff. Salvation Army of Indiana T. Rhino Nose, I don't know what that is, I forgot to look it up, but maybe it's something cool, I don't know. This Quicksilver little skater tee and then this one was awesome it's a Foo Fighters 2005 from Roswell really like it and it's going to dark at this stop we got a pair of Lee denim a Belterra golf club crew neck and then another blank I found a lot of blanks this week but they do sell and this one which is like a little touristy crew neck reverse fleece here we got a Harry Potter cardigan this is a random like little country music but it was signed for a buck nine now throw it in the flea market and a Dickies flannel with a nice little Eddie Bauer crew neck there. No better time of the year than to find the Halloween pumpkin vibe. Little crew neck there with this pink sweater. We got a starter blank crew neck. Just good wear to it. I like it. It fits kind of boxy. Chicago Bears windbreaker. This old military jacket. I need to do some research on the age of that one. Gateway Raceway. Little varsity jacket there. It's denim materials. Got an Indiana Pacers Nike hoodie. With a bunch of shorts in this haul, we got a Nike pair there, a vintage white tag, a little basketball, kind of cool. I like the color of them, I don't really see those too often. Whoops. And then we got a Carhartt pair of cutoff shorts, got a Dickies pair of cutoff shorts, and some Carhartt cargo shorts. IU, I really like these IU cargos. I think they're cool, I've never seen them before. And then a couple pair of like Y2K streetwear uh, denim jorts there. They're bigger sizes, but they still sell for me, so I pick them up. The classic pickup of every episode is the Wrangler jorts. Newburgh, Indiana t-shirt. I like this one a lot. It's a Finding Nemo, but it's the Dory. Don't be left behind. It's a movie t-shirt. Really nice one. I think it's $100. 
Waylon T, and then a back-to-back -back champion, San Francisco 49ers. This stop, this also came out right before I left. It's just a cool little hunting Remington hat. How's everyone doing this morning? It's a rainy start to the day. I uh, made, I'm gonna make a couple stops today. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. I uh, already made one stop and I grabbed a couple things. Um, this really cool like silky see-through Y2K top. That's cool colors on it. I don't know the brand, but it's like one of those stretchy materials. And then we picked up the Chicago Bears vintage shorts. Elastic still good on those. And then, oh, where are they at? Right here, we got a DuPont Jeff Gordon hat right there. It has a little pin on the back. Where'd that pin go? Oh, right here. Maybe. There we go. And then a Harley women's like tattooy hat there <clears throat> and then we also got these right here we got some vintage women's overalls these have like little floral hits on them and stuff nothing too crazy and then we got this faded and like worn in really well floral fresh produce top a good green color and those smell amazing someone must have like just washed them and then we got a cowboy button up all over print right there so nothing too crazy today so far i'm um, gonna hit goodwill this stop gives a couple things this is only five bucks it's just a really thick kind of puffer hunting jacket camouflage with some camo wrangler cargo pants this nike boots crazy the swoosh is so off but it's still a cool piece then we got two pairs of tan, kind of khaki, Carhartt workwear pants. Good canvas. And then this one, we got a nice little deer green t-shirt. Good fair vintage crew neck. Purdue Nike little center swoosh piece. An awesome Stussy. I don't find a lot of it, so I love finding it when I can. The Purdue button up. Purdue mom tee. Uh, some sorority or fraternity tee. The big dogs, a biker classic. Eeyore Disney little uh, quarter zip sweatshirt there. A Butler Mom t-shirt and then Dale Jr. T. Alright, y'all. Just did a big buyout. Not super big, but I spent like just under 250 bucks for a big pile of clothes right here. Do a quick run through I'm at the flea market right now. But these are from the first stack right here, but from Brandon Trevor. So appreciate you guys. I'll throw their Instagrams up right here. This is just a vintage like 80s, 90s screen stars. Bud Racing, a No Fear Faded T right here, front and back hit, like a little dragon on it. Right there, I paid 10 a piece for those. Um, I got three or four vintage Colts crew necks from them for about 12 a piece, 12 or 13 a piece, that's what it added up to. But Colts stuff's been flying for me, so I keep picking it up every time. Let me go in order here, there's one. There's two more Colts pieces, maybe. One or two more. Another one right there. And then one more right here on the Lee Sport. It's a good one. All right, and then this one's from Brandon and Trevor still as well. Got a Vintage Adidas Windbreaker Zip Up. The big trefoil, or trefoil, however you say it, on the back. Oh, uh, that was mine. And then, is that all from them? Yeah, that's, oh, this one too. I also grabbed the Chicago Cubs. Just some Reuter t-shirt for like five bucks, something like that. Um, okay, and then, so that was all from Brandon Trevor. These right here are just from Brandon. Um, hooked me up with a good price. I paid 50 bucks for like five tees. This is a cool wraparound bear tee. And then time of the year for it, official Halloween costume, vintage like 80s piece on the jerseys tag. And then this one was kind of cool, it's just like a bootleg Paris London, but it kind of has the Chanel logo in the middle. I paid five a piece for the uh, Halloween tee and that one. System of a Down, I had someone hit me up about some like grungy or like band t-shirts, so I'll probably go to them if I remember who it was. I paid like 20 for that. And then $10 on the Brickyard 400 t-shirt so that in total was 50 bucks from Brandon 
and then I spent like 90 like 90 bucks I think for all of these from a different guy I don't know his like I don't think he does like Instagram and stuff but 95 friends crew neck there needs a good bleach um, this super faded out Harley t-shirt it was a 2002 paid like, I don't know, like eight bucks for that one Larry the cable guy deer t-shirt this one's pretty cool um, Rolling Stones it has like a really cropped fit it's tagged a medium but it fits like a cropped like I guess a cropped medium honestly because it's still pretty wide but 1989 I paid like 30 bucks for this one good kind of all over print on that one and then the last one was a FUBU bootleg vintage crew neck on a great green tag right there god dang this stuff's dusty in my videos when I edit I always notice the dust and I'm like golly it looks so bad but I can't help it just these clothes are old they sit for a while they get dust not a big deal but so that was a good haul there I gotta go back home and get some work done so today was a pretty good day got a ton of stuff this stop we got this really nice Howard crew neck it's it's old and it is a little small but it's still really cool I had to pick it up Eddie Bauer crew neck there early 2000s a really nice thick knit pattern sweater there I always pick these up they sell really well during the fall winter the Duke long sleeve this is just brand new with tags I'm gonna put it in the flea market I just like the colors on it it's just like a little work crew neck got a Butler logo athletic quarter zip fleece and then a Purdue space I picked one of these up and they sold already so I picked this one up as well this stop we got a nice little lululemon crew neck there with the indiana pacers hit on the sleeve i've never seen that before a lighthouse crew neck classic good color it's like an olive pistachio the brickyard t-shirt and then this thing is alcohol i'm not really sure this one's good for the halloween and the flea market another little flea market tee there iu adidas hoodie super thick might keep it for myself a jeep t-shirt I like this Tommy Hilfiger one a lot. It's long sleeve, simple and plain, minimalistic, but it does have the little sleeve hit. And then this little Brown County, Indiana crew neck with a Calvin Klein's t-shirt, a who's who of coffee drinkers tee, another cardigan. This is awesome. I love that one. It's a nice little eighties crew neck, good wear to it. And then we also got this Los Angeles t-shirt, kind of gives you red hot shape ever vibe. All right, y'all. Just uh, hit a couple Goodwills, but ran by a garage sale, grabbed a couple things there. One was these Carhartt shorts, it's a little bit bigger. Um, probably measured like a 38 or a 36. And then we got a Carhartt jacket. Now, unfortunately, it's branded, but this color, it's an old one too, but this color is just amazing. It's like a blue, kind of aquamarine color. Good fade to it, love it. And then I got these Rock Revivals right here. Um, Rock Revival denim. I just had a pair, listed them the same day they sold. So I grabbed those. I don't really find those much for like under um, like 20 bucks. That's what good old prices I'm at. But not bad. I think I paid about eight bucks for them, which is normal jean price at Goodwill. So I'll do that all day. Gonna go hit another couple stops, see what we can find. Only picked up a couple t-shirts at this trip. We got a nice Pac-Man 2004 tee with a Billabong t-shirt. Depop and Billabong go hand in hand. I sell a lot of it on there. Purdue Nike tee and the Bears tee. I picked up a couple of these movie posters. Um, I didn't show them off because they were like filling my card up and I just wanted to get them in the car. I was rushing Armageddon, Bruce Willis movie poster. This is the best one. It's a Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler. This is the original one, which I got to take it out of the frame. I think it might be because it has all the licensing. This could be like 250, 300, and it's professionally framed. Got a Bruce Willis Six Sense movie poster there. It's pretty cool. And then a Toast of the Winter Stanley Cup Bud Light little uh, vintage NHL piece. But yeah. All right, y'all. Spooky camera view here. But um, it's currently like, uh, it's almost seven o'clock. It's 6.50. Here at an estate sale, I'm number two. Um, there's a guy already here when I pulled up but I'll take it I think he's into other things so I'm not too worried about us competing for the same stuff but yeah number two at this one um, there's another estate sale later on today but I don't it starts the same time this one does and so I don't imagine I'm gonna be able to go or at least if I do I, probably, I mean I'm not I know I'm not gonna be in like the first 30 people 40 people to go in so I don't know if it'll be worth it but We'll see, it's cold and I'm tired and, uh, but yeah, I think it'd be worth it. 
I saw in the photos some Pacers gear and some older stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is only like 30 minutes away from my house. So if I can just grab like 10 or so things, it'll make the morning worth it. Hope we can come out a couple hundred dollars in profit, but we'll see. I'll catch you guys up here in a little bit. This estate sale was an experience to say the least. I uh, had to move pretty quickly because at the start, I was the only person there that I knew of that was going for the clothes. But then right before it started, a couple guys walked up and the queue line was only like 15 to 20 people. So I had to move quick. I grabbed the good t-shirts that were on this table that I saw on the listing. So that's why I, I targeted this area first. But I had to move a little quickly. And as you guys can see, I cut the footage off a little bit here. And because there were some people walking in, like this fellow in the green jacket right here, I met him. He has a resale page as well. And he was going for the clothes. So I had to move quick. Of course, I went to the wrong closet first. Had to kind of jog over to the next door to find the good stuff. But I, uh, after looking here for a couple pieces with the GoPro in my hand, I realized I was going to have to double fist this mission and uh, put the GoPro in the pocket and then show a recap later because it was getting a little too hectic and tight in that room for me. Back home, really good estate sale today. Picked up a lot of stuff. I only spent like 70 bucks on a lot of good stuff. Um, quick sellers, a couple of them, like grandma Kronax, that type of stuff. But let's fly through these real quick because the video is already super long. But started off my favorite find of the day. There's Kay right there. <laughs> Got this Annapolis Colts script, sports specialties, the cord, really nice one, really good fade. Um, I think this blue looks better than the original one does because it's like a royal blue, but this kind of turned into more of like a navy color. Definitely my favorite find of the day. And then this hat was really nice as well. It's the Olympics 1996 USA right there on the Olympics tag. And then the other ones are just like kind of mid, but they were a buck a piece. So I just picked them up. Brickyard visor, 1987 Pan Am, Pan Am game visor. This one was nice too. It's just a Pacers. Good fade to that one as well. It almost looks black, but it is navy. Just a nice one there. And then got a couple of these retired hats just to put in the flea market. They need a little wash. All the hats need a little bit of a wash. Um, Another Pan Am games. They had a ton of like 1987 Pan Am stuff, so that's always cool. And then a Brickyard, I think that's 96. All right, let's fly through these clothes. We got a Butterfly uh, Myrtle Beach t-shirt. We got this dog, super cute with the football, kind of mock neck, turtleneck thing going on. It was definitely like a grandma's collection, which is honestly cool with me because she was a cool grandma. She was like into sports and kind of pop culture and stuff, but. Annapolis Colts logo seven. This one was nice. It's a Rainbow Row, South Carolina, I think. Yeah, Charleston, South Carolina. Nice soft pink color. This is another Pan Am Games T, 1987. Got this New York City. I've actually had this crew neck multiple times, but the lady added her own little personal touch to it with some stars and stripes. This one's kind of stupid. I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I was paying more attention, but for a dollar, whatever, it's still a colored lock crew neck. I like this one, it's a quote. Crew neck, it says, all I ask is that you treat me no differently than you would the queen, 1994. Uh, don't panic graphic, nice little thick one. Got a couple Pacers pieces. This one is dated, not dated, but 90s. Got a Indiana Pacers embroidered crew neck. Thick and good quality. Got a Annapolis Colts like turtleneck. Sweatshirt. The dogs falling in love on Christmas. <laughs> uh, birdhouse, kind of grandma y wraparound print. Button up. I like these. They sell pretty well for me, honestly, but it's just an alpaca wool. It's pretty old. Um, kind of looks like mohair wool, which is nice, but not bad for a buck. Got two of these vintage sunflower crew necks. This is the best one in my opinion, the green color. The green and the yellow just looks good in my opinion. The navy on yellow, very clean. Got a 2001 Rose Bowl Purdue with a little sleeve hit. Got a Pacers nutmeg single stitch tee right here. Big graphic. Um, this one's Market Square Arena, which I'm not sure if that's where like the Pacers used to play. It's before my time, but 1994, 
pretty cool. I'm not the biggest Pacer fan, so I don't know like the history of where they played and stuff, but I like this one a lot. It's probably my favorite t-shirt, 1994 Purdue Big Ten Champs. Uh, with P on it, on the anvil tag. 1995 Colts letter rep t-shirt. Atlanta, Georgia, just a soft purple pastel -y tee. Got a all over print lighthouse t-shirt. I always find this in like a cardigan, which I actually got one um, in this haul as well, but I don't ever find them in t-shirts, so that's cool. Here's the cardigan version, wrap around print or all over print. Got this folly um, little grandma collared sweatshirt there. Good colors, good time of the year for it. And I got three of these uh, USA Dream Team Tyvex. Um, these are like, I, I personally like hate the material on these, but they still sell for like 30 or 40 bucks. So honestly, the three of these should pay for the whole haul themselves. But I think I'm gonna do a giveaway with one of these. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe and leave a comment and a like. And I'm gonna give one away. If anyone wants one for free, Dream Team 1992. Here's the third one. Um, yeah, 1992. I guess it's 96 of the Dream Team, I believe. But still, really cool one there. Got a bunch of superstars on it. Larry Legend. And then we got a USA Windbreaker. Right here, we got two of those actually, and that is the whole haul. There has a little USA hit at the bottom, but yeah, for a buck a piece for almost everything, a couple items were like four bucks, but those are mostly just the sports t shirts. But again, I am going to give one of these away to someone who comments, subscribes, and likes. I'm going to post the results on my Instagram, and you see my Instagram and Depop right here. Check those out if you guys want to know who wins. But just for free, something fun. It's a cool piece. You can still like wear them. They're not like the greatest material, but they are cool. It means a piece of like US history for sports. And it's a good piece you can just hang up if you're not really feeling uh, selling it or wearing it, whatever. But it's cool, it's lightweight. Good little piece for the summer or whatever, 4th of July, fits nice. But yeah, appreciate everyone checking the video out. This one was a little bit longer. So I'm glad to get this one posted tonight. If you guys, again, here's the Depop and Instagram. You guys can, I have most of the items already listed in this video. So you guys can check that out, um, see all the items, the pricing on them. And if you do find some stuff on Depop you want for a little bit cheaper, message me on Instagram and I'll give you like a little bit of discount. It takes away the Depop fee. So like maybe an extra 10% off for you. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.